All right, what's up everybody? This is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor bringing you another video tour. So today we are here in the beautiful city of Las Vegas, Summerlin. Today's weather is probably about a good 80 degrees. But on the high side, it would be about 90. So this beautiful home that we are touring today is by Tow Brothers up here in the master plan community of Summerlin. This home right here is the Cascade model. You do, ha you do have an option for a three to four bedrooms on this one. It is 3,850 three square feet. The garage here, you have an option of four car garage or three car garage, but we'll get into that in just a second here. But I wanna take a look at these Eve's here. I mean, look at this. This is like a six foot Eve right here. Isn't that crazy? Look at this design. Now this entryway right here, this is all an upgrade. Everything that you see right here with Toe Brothers is going to be an upgrade. Also with this feature wall right here too as well. Beautiful design for sure. I mean, look at that wood paneling on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Jeez. So, this is the uh, modern, starting off at one million one hundred and two thousand nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. Love this water feature here. Beautifully integrated to the inside of the home, as you can see. I mean, just take a look at this. Design. I mean, look at the storefront on this thing. So much windows. I love that. Got the rocks around the courtyard here. Coming through our pivot door. Now take a look at this water feature. This actually goes all the way through the house. One whole transition. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? However, this is not included. It's not included. They don't give you this option to do at all. I mean, look at that. It's crazy how like Toe Brothers, they go above and beyond, but they don't give you all the options. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Like 20 foot ceilings or even higher. Love the uh, the beams. Look at the lights on here. Can't even get enough of this. I mean, this video does not do any justice to this thing. Now we're gonna get into this thing. All right. So we're gonna go down this way here. Okay. Right here we have our office. We're gonna start right here. So you have all the uh, the built-ins. Officer Den here. You have a Santa Fe texture, straight edge on the uh, cornering. Standard rocker switches. I would definitely would love to see a more of a higher end rocker switch. We'll start off on this side here. So we have the AV room. So this was turned into a video audio for the whole house. Right here is an upgrade. You can do 42 uh, upper cabinets here, right here. All this would be open space. Coming into the three car garage with the six panel door here. You have chrome fixtures. As we descend down two steps into the two car garage, now this is a true two car garage. This garage has been epoxied. You have a eight foot garage door, okay? And the ceilings are probably about 12 feet high on here. And I love the lift master garage door with the MyQ app, but look at this. I love how this one is on the side so you don't have a center track here. A couple things I want you to be aware of. On this glass door right here is an option. If you did this, 
and it went to the design studio, you would have an option to do one of these, all right, off to the side, the garage door, or you can do one on the center. You can do a belt drive or a chain drive. Chain drive is gonna be cheaper on the belt drive. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. However, you won't have that noise when the garage door goes up. However, if you upgrade to this garage door, understand that this garage door with this glass is more heavy. What tends to happen is that belt drive, right, will tend to stretch. All right, so here we have our main line. One of the things that you need to look at when you are purchasing a home, with the main line that comes in, you have your main line from the city to your, uh, your, your valve that regulates the pressure. This is the most important thing that you wanna take a look at. Do you have the valve for your irrigation system? Right? Can you turn it on and off? Because when you travel, you want to turn the main line off to your house. You could turn it off to the house just in case something leaks. But then you can also have your water line running for your landscaping. Okay? That's something that I would look out for. Now we're going to come back in here. You got your power box, which is really nice. This is a 24 inch transformer. On the 24 inch, I'm sorry, the 24 volts transformer, that controls the coach lights outside and also your doorbell. You got your tankless water heater, okay? And you have your soft water on this one, which is really nice. You have the Santa Fe texture. Coming into the, uh, the bathroom right here. You got your floating vanity, which is a 36 inches high, which is really nice. However, a pedal stool would be here. That's gorgeous, huh? You got your 12 by 24 on the, uh, the tile. But man, take a look at this living room. Now, what you'll get here is this straight wall drywall this bench with this quartz would not be here and the ceilings would just be all drywall if you guys can picture that and you see the lights above you're not going to get all these lights coming into the uh, kitchen so in the kitchen you do have a couple options on the island uh, this is an extended one so Again, that is an upgrade, but this is a beautiful quartz countertop. And I love the fact that you have two dishwashers, double dual basin sink. Nice. Cabinets, these ones are probably Urban Effects. Again, soft closing cabinets. Cove, I've never heard of this brand for a dishwasher. But man, this looks industrial. Now what's great about these dishwashers, you can make these adjustments and you also have the water that shoots up through here. And you can move these around for like certain plates or something like that, okay? The other thing is that this should be connected through uh, Bluetooth as well. Now, cabinets does come with a 42 upper cabinets. You get the craftsmanship, not the urban effects, but you get the shakers. Now what the shakers are, these are full overlay cabinets on this one with the thermal foils. So this is a total, total, that's an upgrade. Now, cabinets cut off right about here, but then you have your 42 upper cabinets all the way around, okay? Now, one thing I want you to take a look at is when you do your final walk, a lot of times, take a look underneath this kickboard here. See that kickboard? You're gonna have a lot of scuff marks, paint chips, all that underneath. That typically happens a lot. Oh, I love this uh, backsplash here. Look at this.
Man, look at this. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice. Built-in refrigerator. Again, that's an upgrade, okay? All this right here is an upgrade. What you'll get here is basically standard shelvings. You're not gonna get this, but this is also gorgeous. Looks like you got your attic access right there too as well, okay? Now the lot premiums here, starting off at $100,000. For a lot premium it's pretty insane to me you got your sliding glass doors these ones are a 20 foot slider taking you out to the back here Let's see what we got now I can't wait to show you the master and for some of you guys that don't know Backyard is not included. Everything that you see, that's an upgrade. HOAs here are $273 a month. That includes the master and also within this community. SIDS and LIDS, $313 every six months. Okay. Balance is roughly around 6,200. So this is a good example where they pre-wired, right, for electrical on the flooring. This is something that was already thought out. And especially a home at this size, these are things that you have to think of. Based upon how the design in the floor plan was gonna be laid out with the furniture, you need an outlet here because you need outlets for these lights. If you don't have that, then now you're required to run an extension cord all over there and it looks like crap. I love uh, how they painted those grills black there. That's really nice. Ooh, I love this. Look at this transition right here. You got the nice featured wall. And look at the attention to detail. The only builder that I see that has more attention to detail than this builder is Blue Heron. And I don't want to say that's my favorite builder because it's not an endorsement. Let's take a look at this bedroom right here. Wow. Flooring is all a upgrade. What do you get? Uh, typically it's 18 by 18 uh, carpet in the bedroom, okay? This bedroom is 13 by 12. Again, I'll have a link in the description below too as well. Wow, this one's very industrial. Tub shower combo will be a standard. All this right here would be an upgrade, which is really nice. Not my style, but I mean, I do love the shower here. Huh? Ceilings are very high, 12 foot ceilings. We're gonna go this way. Now here's another bedroom, 11 by 12. Fairly, Fury. I think that's how you pronounce it, hockey player. I guess he's like the, the man, I guess. I don't know, how many of you guys watch hockey? Let me know in the comments below. You got your 30 inch on the, uh, the vanity here. Tub shower combo standard. This is an upgrade. You got all your cabinet space. Okay. Wow. 
pretty cool. Now coming down into the garage, what we're walking into right now is the uh, the flex room. What the flex room is, this is more for car lovers, right? If you are a car lover, this is where you're gonna put your Lamborghini, whatever kind of car that you want, right? Here. Okay, so they locked the door. So typically this would have been a four car garage for the house. And everything that you do see here is an upgrade. That's an upgrade, that's an upgrade, that's an upgrade. You also have the option to do plumbing here and the electrical for the sink and the refrigerator. But man, I do love this though. Look at this Porsche, old school. And I believe that was called a whale tail back in the day. I used to love Porsches, but now I just feel like Porsche Porsches are a little bit too small. And I'm really not into that racing anymore. I'm just kind of like, you know, driving comfort, that luxury. But I do love driving my truck. Thermostat here. I prefer a Nest thermostat. Laundry. So in the laundry room here, front load, okay. You have your gas, wash and dryer not included, 42 upper cabinet is not included, sink is not included, but you'll get some shelving. Now let's go here. Now let's go take you to the master. Now we're gonna come into the master here, but the master bathroom is off the hook. I mean, look at this storefront right here. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. It's kind of hard to picture everything without, you know, all the upgrades here. Now, I did do a full video here for a client. Well, I did a video vlog. This is an upgrade too right here with this full build, build in. Average person in this community will spend about 25, I'm sorry, 20, yeah, 20, 25% of the base price. So, what you'll have here, instead of these um, windows, this would be drywall. Then you would have one door here in the middle and also another door here in the middle. But these, Cabinets, again, are all an upgrade. I feel like the uh, Toll Brothers in Vegas is built better than the Toll Brothers in California. Now, what I realize is that typically a lot of builders, their in-house designer doesn't design the home so here is the bathroom entry this takes you out to a little retreat area i believe this is an upgrade i believe so here's your water closet but then i'm about to show you the the cream of the crop right here now let's take a look at this now we're coming into the master bath take a look at this bam that's an upgrade all right but take a look at this soak all this in folks I'm gonna pan around slowly, look at this. It takes you straight to the outside. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 36 on the cabinets, cast iron undermounted sinks. Love the fact that they are pre-wired right there. That's, that's dope. And take a look at this. They flush mounted this mirror here. And this is actually quartz. That is like well thought out, well planned. And I love this matte white tub shower. I'm sorry, the uh, the tub. But most importantly, look at this. Look at this transition. Boom, look at this. Look at this. All right, boom. 
Oh boy. Isn't that crazy? You saw an upgrade, man. Look at that transition out there. Look at this. That's definitely a style that I would bite. Come back around this way again. Look at that. Ooh. Man. Look at that. Whew. Now let me know in the comments below. Can you see yourself taking a shower all day long? I could just hang out there, watch TV, taking a shower. That would not be good with my sister-in-law. Because I remember one time my sister-in-law stayed at my house for a couple days. And she takes like super, super long showers to the point where it was driving me nuts, right? Because I don't want to waste any money because, you know, that's that's the Asian in me. So I'm knocking on the door. I'm like, hurry up and get out of the shower. You're wasting water. Imagine if she was taking a shower in that bathroom. She would never leave. My water bill would be so high. So, Jamie... If you're watching this, if I ever bought a home like this, you're not allowed to take a shower in my house. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.